All right, so here we are going to talk about what is an offer wall and why you should have it. So what we're going to look at is the way we actually put sales funnels together to actually generate ourselves way more income. So we're going to start off with basically we're going to get like a an opt-in page. So pretty straightforward. We get um, traffic from all over the internet in various different ways whether it be Facebook, AdWords, uh, your current email list, uh, Messenger bots, Instagram, YouTube, all that fun stuff. And then once people opt in, they are then going to be able to go ahead and either, this is where it starts getting a bit fun. So in my example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have someone go ahead and order something. So I'm actually going to get some money first off from people. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. So like I said, I'm going to go in the first way. This is like basically making money. So you're going to send traffic to your opt-in page and then they're going to get something for free and then they're going to go ahead and be sent to an order page where they go ahead and buy something. So once they've bought something, then the normal thing to do would be to send them to a thank you page, right? That makes sense. That's kind of like how it normally works. But by putting this in, I think that actually it's it's a bit of a loss. It's kind of like doing the job halfway through. So you're kind of like losing out because people have already got their credit card out. They've already bought something from you. So why not offer them something else here? So in that case, we're going to actually go ahead and put something else in. So that they can go ahead and buy something else. So we're gonna create more offers and we're gonna have those linked from here. So when someone goes ahead and buys, rather than getting like a standardized thank you page, they're gonna get another sales page where they can go ahead and buy. Now it may be that this is something which is added on to that, in which case we would call that a, uh, we would call that basically a one-time offer or an upsell. So that's kind of like how you go normally. This is like I said, this is just a, an extra. So people would go ahead and go for the opt-in, order page, and then you would offer them an upsell. And if they didn't take the upsell, then that's fine. You can then send them down to a down sell or something similar to that and then once they've been through the upsell again instead of the generic thank you page which doesn't earn you actually any money after that you can actually have some graphics there or some links on the on the upsell page once they've gone ahead and bought it so this would be here uh, just doing this real quick so like I said this is quite a bit of a fast fast job on that so and then once I've hit that thank you page then you can then go and send them to more offers so effectively you're kind of like starting off here this is your funnel but then you've got another funnel here so oh easy tiger hang on so this is that then becomes that there and then we get another thank you page for that one oh man keep doing that wrong so you replicate this again from here, there to there, or it may be that you decide actually, you know, we, we're not sure whether or not we want to sell them straight away. So we might just create another opt-in first. Just put that there. It's just getting confusing. Anybody confused so far? I'm getting confused. Right. So that would then from here. So from the thank you page they'd be able to opt into a new offer, which is kind of related. So it's something interesting. So if you're going through some sort of book funnel, you go, okay, well, you got this book. This is amazing. You bought the upsells. This is great. And then go ahead and why not buy this book? So there'd be a link on there. They'd go to here and then they'd go through that. Or if they were interested in something a little bit more tangible, then you could bring them here again or like I say, you can say, right, well, why don't you get this book? And then after you bought that book, why don't you buy that book? And you can kind of interweb these as well. So on each thank you page, 
let's say here at the moment I've got one, two, three different products that I can sell from here. On this thank you page, if they go through that sequence, then you're going to be able to offer them back over here to that one and also over to that one. So you're creating this like mini little um, mini little web if you like of assets that you can send people down so that when it all comes together it looks pretty cool so that would then send back to here you could then send that back to there and like I said this all starts out with being one single offer to start with but then you've got another opportunity to sell them once twice and three times there as well so this maximizing how much make money you'll actually make over the funnel itself because if you're paying a certain amount to get people in here and then obviously you've got an opt-in rate and you've got a sales rate and then you've got an upsell rate and then finally normally this would be how much earning you would get from this funnel so if you were paying something here say if you were paying two dollars a click on that oh there's my timer hang on if you were paying two dollars to get people in here you want to make sure that you're making at least two dollars by the time you're here now if that's the case and you are making the two books or you're actually making more than that fantastic but if you are only making that or below so the money that you put in here is only matching here then by having this offer wall in place you can then maximize how much that person or the average person is going to buy so your average um, revenue is going to go up and up and up so that is kind of like how an offer wall is and how it works and how it can make more money for you and I hope you enjoyed this video